Hello and welcome to my first look of a game called Rogue Book. And I think this is like a card game. Uh, after the Chronicles of Gagana. Hmm. Something about the garden. Look in a secluded place. Long forgotten ruins <clears> of <throat> sacred forest. Hidden underneath the tallest trees in the world of Fairy. Okay. While this cutscene is an going on. Adventurer. The fraud thief, some have called him. And in that small house, there is a shop. And in that shop, there is a book. And in oh, that and in the book, it's a rogue book. It has no master. It's a whole new world. Alrighty then. Before I do anything, let's reduce this and this. Alright. Well, that's probably fine. Control of vibration off. I may not have my controller in at the moment, but... New ruin. A new run, sorry. Hello? And I will probably... I do have plans to maybe start... Okay, I'm recording this on the 3rd of September. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not a card game. Huh. Ah. Good morning, stranger. Ugh, my head hurts. My head. You've been sleeping for quite some time. My name is Nadim. We are both trapped within the rogue book. Let's not waste another minute. Take this. This is one of my brushes. Oh, I found Sirocco. I should go see if he's okay. Yo, Shara, where are we? We need to get out of here. I don't like the smell of this place. It smells like an old book. To explore more of this cursed book, you must harvest the very ink it has used to form its creations. A tricky task. Okay, so basically we're battling. And it said something guaranteed, so maybe a guaranteed, like, ink thing. Okay, no, no, okay, there we go. Look out, they're attacking. No problem, if we both go on the defensive, it won't even scratch us. Alright, let's see, defend. Hmm? Oh, okay. And turn. Okay. So we have two. Ah, okay, wait. I, I used two defense on her. Um, okay. The red cards. If you use a red card, it's this guy. And if you use a white card, it's her. Got it. <clears throat> now it's our turn to fight back. Alright. So we lunge. And we can strike. And. Oh yeah, and then strike again. Ah, uh, maybe lunge means we go on the front line. Is that what that means? Well done. A wonderful display. I knew you'd be the one to help me get out of here. Many of the creations of the book will be much stronger than what you've just seen. Okay. By combining inks and skillful brush strokes, 
you are able to paint the path you need. I will show you. Use your ink here. You go here. And then... Ink... Wait. Okay. Use. Oh, wait, I can't use it again towards that. Oh, okay, wait, no. Yeah, and then here and then paintbrush because it's an AOE. Got it. At the end of your turn, if Soroko's leading, gain two block. Okay. Okay, that's an item for him. And then if Char is leading, she gains three power. Okay. The gate requires two souls to open. You cannot venture alone. Oh, but we have two souls. Right? Oh, because you need two people to pull the levers. Oh. Okay, I'm probably you the end of the tutorial. I am always ready. Good luck. You will need it. Okay, that was some weird overlaying of the voice acting. Uh, there's an offering bowl here. Sure. Pay gold to add a card to your deck. Ah, okay. Great shield, me melee. Okay. Retain. Don't discard this card at the end of your turn. Okay, so... Game block equal to the size of your draw pile. Horse master. Ally. Oh, so no wait, this is an actual guy that will fight with you. Okay. Or is it? No, it changes the position of your two heroes. Oh, but it says... Okay, we'll see. Deal damage equal to this ally spirit to the front enemy at the end of your turn. Sounds strong. Useful skill. Normal. Let's go and fight this normal battle right here. It's good to have my sword back. I deal more damage when I'm... I, I, okay. When Char is done attacking, I should block to move forward. I'll boost our defenses. Okay. Hmm. So let's attack. Then you can also attack, right? Attack. And then defend. Oh, he, he, it says that he's gonna do 8. Alright. And now he's gonna do 2 attacks. At seven. Hmm. What is this? The hero in this position deals 33% less damage. Oh, okay. So, if I just strike. Okay, yeah, yeah. That keeps me right there. And then. Block and then block. Oh, okay. Wait, I fucked up a there. But no, wait. We have fourteen. So yeah, he's not gonna do any damage. It's block and you. Okay, so he's gonna block his buff. So we can basically just attack, right? Okay, so that's how it works. Let's see how this works. Oh wait, it says at the end of the turn and it's not gonna be... Oh! Wait. Okay, wait, why did I do so l Oh, because... Well, okay, that's one gonna kill him anyways, but... Okay, I didn't really understand how that worked. Why did I do so little damage right there? 
Okay. Pile of gold and some ink. Can I walk here? Oh yeah, we can walk. Is there an... No, okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Pre precision... Okay, this is a precision ink. It's not... With, like, straight line ink. Oh, okay, now we're fighting some more enemies. Uh, we have, okay, three. Uh, let's see. So this guy intent on blocking, and obviously this guy's gonna attack. Okay, we cannot target that guy. But we can lunge as this guy, so let's do that. I wonder, is it worth just killing one of them? It probably is, right? Where you kind of like... Yeah, because this will reduce our damage the most, I think. Ah! Oh. Okay, and now they will reduce damage by five. Oh, we can't attack that one. Let's use this. Then we'll guard. Okay, it, it, so there's like no point of using that guy, right? So let's just attack, attack, and let's use a block. And then just attack. Then strike. And then guard. Yeah. Alright, strike. I'll let you kill that one. Alright, let's see. Do we heal in between matches? Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal all space through. Okay. Hmm. Okay, no, we don't heal. So let's talk to this guy now. We have some money. Let's see. We can make some use of this. Okay, you can buy some cards. Whenever you end a turn with eight or less block, the leading hero gains one courage. Gain five block. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so there are some things. Craft a card. What? Discard your hand, attack for zero. Wait, discard your hand, attack for zero. Six times the number of cards discarded. Oh, wait, so for every card you gain... I don't understand, what does that mean? Discard your hand. Attack for zero. Six times the number of cards discarded. I mean, zero times six is still zero. Uh, so that must mean something else. Maybe for every card you discard, you get one and then times six damage. So if you discard like three cards, you would do 12. I think. Okay, so each time she attacks, this one will also deal the same amount. Discard a card and gain one... Hmm. Spirit is an ally's value. Higher spirit makes allies more valuable. 
Huh. Well, I'll take the wild swing because I'm curious. What's over there? There's something special over there. Okay. So precision ink, I can just use it right there, right? So that I can just... Oh, wait, no, we can't. The tree, okay. Huh. Well... That's not great. Oh, okay, you can actually move around the map with WASD. Huh. Alright, so... Uh, let's use another precision ink. Which, to be fair, is stupid, because I'm just going to use the airbrush anyways. Uh, let's see. Windstorm Archer. Okay, they're skipping. Okay, I guess... Manage to get them while they're sleeping. Okay, so he will do 24 damage. Yeah, let's do that. So if I do it on that guy, he will die. This turn. But then it will be 8 over damage, right? Probably is better. Go for that guy. Yeah, I think so. Go for him. And turn. Boom. Now I only need to do 6 damage to this guy. Uh, for it to, you know... So we can... Do 10 here... 10 here... And then just 7... Oh, well, it doesn't actually matter which one we attack. Holy shit. Lunch. Come on. But she's almost dead. Alright, so I've been playing this pretty bad. Okay. Is this one. It's kind of like... Reveal three spaces in front of you. God damn it, we can't walk over there. There we go, let's see. Oh, nom 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 nom. Let's use that nice. to heal. Sky tower, and let's get the vaults. More cards, it seems always be fun. Attack an enemy for 12. Uh, Jason for six. Oh wait, we gain eight block and then we also attack. Hmm. If you control an ally, gain eleven block instead. All right. Both heroes gain two power. Sure. Oh, something called talent here. Oh well, we'll check that out next time. Right, so let's see, if I do that, what happens? Oh, it increases my R attack. Got it. Now what do you... In, in, okay, he's gonna attack and block. Um, so yeah, we can attack. We defend, and we defend. There we go. So next time he's gonna attack twice for... Basically he's gonna do 10 damage. Mm, so yeah, we can... Ah, no, we don't really have the ability to... Uh, really defend that much.
And I don't want you to be at the front, so we're just gonna do that and then attack. Yeah, I would rather this guy take all that damage. Hmm, let's see. Gain 8 block, then attack. So, so, wait, so we can actually block. We can do 16 damage. While still having a lot of block. So we actually gonna do... Gonna do that. There we go, and then Mountain Fist. Then end turn. And now... Okay. We can war cry. And then let's see. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we we strike, we defend, and then we defend. There we go. That gives us the most damage. Alright, so if I do lunge... Hmm, so wait. Strike. Strike. And then... Yeah, and then charge. Then this one should kill him. Victory! Alright, so this is a bit interesting. Uh, how the game will, will, Let's see. As you collect more cards, you unlock more talents. Each hero has a unique set of skills. You may select only one talent in each row. Oh. Alright. Hidden Blade. Start each battle with three daggers. After playing this card, remove it until the end of combat. Cards with dissolve cannot be copied in battle. Alright. You can stack multiple copies of itself in your hand. Don't discard a stack. Okay, so we don't discard it. So it's not like you have to use them at the beginning. You can use them later on. Got it. <sighs> Gain one something. And draw a card at the start of each battle. Hmm. Each turn, the first time you play a card that costs two or more, gain one. Okay. So basically, the first time you play a two cost card every turn, it basically is a one cost card. If you play it like early. That's kind of like how I'm reading that. Um, let's do head start, however. Uh, let's see. Elite battle, elite. Okay, let's go here first. Oh, narrative. Narrative, narrative. Pray to be your sword, pray to be my shield. Okay. Start of each battle. Oh, we start the battle with the uh, kobold. Aggressive, deal damage equal to this ally's spirit. For, for in the beginning, so five. At the start of the hero's turn, gain block equal to this ally spirit. Deal damage equal to this ally spirit. So he will deal two and he will block two. Okay. So you get two block and two damage each turn versus five damage each turn. Now the question is what is the most useful? Because if you kill something as fast as possible, then you take less damage. 
Huh. Let's pray to be my sword. Sure. Okay, let's try it out. So we should start with it? Okay, yeah, it already is our ally at the beginning. Hmm. So let's see. Gain 8 block. So yeah, what we should do here, we first... Yeah, because we have 4 power, right? So we can actually use... Oh man, using the Windstorm Archer would be really good, right? Uh, well, can, we, can we kill this one immediately? Because if we do 10, 14, 10, okay, and then you will kill. So we can actually just kill this one immediately. And then... Let's see. I mean, this will give me the more block, but I think we don't need that block. We can just do something like this. Then. There, right? Because you're gonna do five damage. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and they're like buffing or something. Uh, hmm. Yeah, if we go, if we go, can we do seven? Okay, yeah. So I think if we get extra power, and this will kill you. There we go. And then we just block. Oof. Block and use a buff. Got it. Wild swing can do 24 damage, which would just kill this one outright. Let's do that. Enter. All right. All right, we have three. He's gonna do 13. Yeah, yeah, so we can just strike. And then defend and guard. And then just do as much damage as possible. There we go. I think we did pretty well right there. Just use that. It seems that not everything we paint can be explored. These areas feel heavier. I think there are obstacles that will block our path. Okay. Let's patch up. Uh, attack for five. How about this? Free. Attack all enemies for 15. If you play the card that costs two or more last turn, this costs one less. Oh, okay, that sounds really good. I didn't read what the last one was. Sky Tower. Okay, I'm just gonna get this. Just Refreshing. heal us as much as possible and let's do the boss battle. And this is gonna be the last thing we do. I guess first look. Ha 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 ha. Hmm, Soroko, is that who I think it is? I was about to ask you the same. Seems like this book has driven driven him completely mad. Who is this? 
the cloaked hunter. Okay, he plans on using a buff. So. Hmm. So I think, right, if we use this power. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to use it, right? Well, let's see. We attack. So this will do 17. Or I can do 8, 16. Okay, no, no. The, so we can do 17 plus 8, which would be 24. Or we can do 8 plus 6, that's 14, plus 8, 22, yeah, that would be it. So 22 versus, what did I say? 24, yeah, so it's actually better to just go Mountain Fest into a barrage. And enter. Okay, he's gonna attack twice now. Ah, oh, damn. The only thing I really can do is put her at the front. Here, so. Wait, Q? Draw pile. Oh, is this what I'm gonna draw? Is that what I can draw now? Okay, no, it, it, maybe this shows me what I'm gonna draw next turn, maybe. I think that's what it's doing. Alright, so we charge. And then we just block as much as we can. Uh, attack all hmm, 24 or I could do you and yeah let's do that I think that's more value even though he's gonna do 11 damage now and there really isn't anything I can do to stop that Okay, now she will take even more. Okay. So we defend, defend, and defend by putting that guy on front. So we have, you know, the passive damage from these two. And how do I know how long? Oh, wait. Use a bit once per turn. Use at least one spirit when activated. Oh, so now it's gonna okay. Now it's gonna do nine damage per turn at the end. Okay, wait. So you don't need to do that. So now that's something you can do if you want to like, like kill an enemy, but doing it like I did now just decreases our damage output I think uh, sorry let's see if I lunge uh, that's not what I want to do we want to do guard into mountain fist Let's see. Oh god, he's gonna attack three times and do 16 damage each. And there's really nothing I can do to stop. Because that will block 12, but she's gonna die anyways if I do that. So 
I think it's just deal damage. And then I let that guy tank. Okay, he's not gonna attack. If we do that. 14 plus 9, yeah. He should be dead now. So I can do that. And then punch him to death. There we go. Wait, what? Uh, what Victory! Kind of we get? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. You now have two pages a treasure, Safer's cloak. Uh, when end of it here is at or below 50% life, they gain 3 power. Nice find. We don't know, but we're here to help. It seems like we're all stuck in this place. Come with us, we could use your strength. Alright. Token of heroism. We can get, after you play this, return it to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. Or we can get these three cards. Let's take the gem, sure. Here we gain Reap. It's 10 power for the next attack. Draw two cards. The first time each turn this hero plays a card that costs two or more, draw two cards. Huh, okay. Well, let's continue on. Lost in the Oversky, Chapter 2. So I'm gonna end this right here. Ugh. I think the game is fine, but... It's kind of like, uh, I don't really see myself really playing this, but... I mean, I think it's fine.